So, I've got the rig all sorted, I've got all my hydraulics ready to go in. And um, the only thing I've done is I've just put some little bits of plastic here just to stop uh, my little pump syringe from actually going down through there. So I'll hot glue gun that. Um, I've also put the pipe on the wrong way, so, ah uh, well. And just to prove that this pump actually works, I am going to stick it into this little cup here. And hopefully, oh wait there, if I put my finger over the end like that, and the filter in there, we should get water. Which it is, and then if I push down, it should come out that end. So that's, that's a working hydraulic pump right there, folks. <laughs> I'm pleased with this, like I say, I'm thinking on my feet. Um, I have not done this yet, so this is basically all open for the world to see. So, next bit is to pipe it all in. So what we need is some pipe. And what I've got here is some aquarium pipe. Um, I think it's 6mm, but um, it fits on all the syringes. So, working out some random lengths, if I just nick some of this. I want to just stick this on the bottom and then just see where we want it. So we'll say we want it to there, so that's where we want it, get a pair of scissors, nothing flash about that, snip it there, and there's one hydraulic hose in place, or line, and then we'll get the other one, use the same length, because it's going to be exactly the same, go to there, grab it there, and snip, there we go. and that goes onto these two, um, I've just let it out of the bag. Yes, these two syringes are going to be accumulators. They're going to be weight accumulators. And that's one thing that this rig's going to show that you can't actually store power in a liquid because you can't compress it. So instead of use, you basically, in this case, weighs a rate. <laughs> you, you actually lift up a weight and that weight puts pressure on the accumulator and that actually stores energy. So the further you go up or the weight goes up, the more energy it is. Um, it's basically potential energy, mass times height times gravity, potential energy. So that's what these are making. So these two are going here and they're going, when I'm finished, to have a weight on them. So that's where they're going. These pipes need to be a bit persuaded because they're not bent. They've been in a plastic bag for quite a while. So ooh, that's a bit wobbly. So these two will go there. And then onto these two, we're going to stick some valves. Now these are just open and close valves. And this is so we can control when we want to use the accumulators or charge them. So basically putting energy into them. So we need one on that one. Oops, I've just knocked everything over. And we'll stick the same colour on this one so we can see it. Grey is the accumulator line. So let's stick that under there. Like so. And those aren't coming off. So those to the side. And um, the next one I want to do is... This one here, so the first thing is I'm going to put a little small length of pipe on here and stick the other one way valve, which is here. Sorry, I lost it for a second there, so if I just stick you down there, cut a small section off. I'm just, like I say, guessing this. Should really have made a cutting list for the kids, but oh well. Stick that into there. Yet again, we want the actual floor to be blocked from this way, so the little the smaller bit of the cone goes towards the actual hydraulic circuit and then we'll just shove that into the pipe here all the way in, there we go and that will sit in there like that against the wood like so so what we need to do now is do the longer cylinder which is the main one this one here and what we'll do is yeah, again cut or stick the pipe on first like a sort see where we want it we want it around about here grab the end and cut it off so this is actually pretty simple I'm actually timing myself when I'm doing this because if I can do it in this time I'll double it for the kids so now we've got that done I want to put a one-way valve onto the end of the cylinder itself so one way valve a basically a, a shut off valve this would technically be called in the hydraulics in industry a needle valve because it controls the flow it isn't just on off if it was an on off we'd use a ball valve so there we go so that's to isolate that well actually what we'll do is 
can't be bothered to take that off, that'll be fine where it is. So that's that done, pump stone accumulator is done. Now what we need to do is to pipe up in between. Oh, I've also forgot to do one other thing, which is to cut a little bit of length off and put another shut off valve on my pump circuit so we can shut the pump totally off so we can de demonstrate the actual accumulators. I'm trying to think which way would be best to put that on. Right there, like that. So that's that circuit done. <laughs> Oh god, if this doesn't work and I'm doing this video, it's going to be hilarious. I'll feed that through there. So now what we need to do is make up the little circuit for to f tee off to these two. Now, this is going to be a hell of a job. So what we have is these three tees. Two of them are going to go to the accumulator. And the other one is going to go back to tank when we want to release the pressure in the system. So... This is basically as simple as joining up pipes together, like so. Okay, so there's the three lines into there. These two go to the accumulators. That one goes back to tank. That one should be longer. I'll stick that one on that end. There we go. We'll leave the tank one for now. So this one goes to this one here. This is not going to be as cleanly put together as I would have liked it. But, ah, oh well, so... That one goes onto the cylinder, and these two go onto the accumulators. Like so. Now I know some of you are now screaming out saying, what are, what are you going to do about bleeding the air out of the system? Well, I've thought it through, I haven't done it yet, like always, and I'm going to show you that in a second once I've got all the pipe work down and all the accumulators and cylinders fastened down as well so first one I'm going to glue down is this one yet again just using my nice hot glue gun lining it up like so stick a nice double glue on there a nice double glue on there and sticking it down like so and letting it set once it sets I'll just stick some more glue on the edges which is now I've decided it's set Like I say, I wanted it to be interchangeable, but to be honest, if I give that a good yank, it'll come off, so yeah. So that's that one on. It might have been easier to do this when it wasn't fully piped up, but I can see where the, the actual syringes want to settle, so there's some on there, there's some on there, push you into there, stick you down. Oh, this is actually quite fun. I should make my own line of my first hydraulics. I think I could make some money in it. Oh, you know, some clever advertising. I think it would go pretty well, actually. Some more glue on there, stick you in there. Press you down. Once them are set, we'll put some over the top just to make doubly sure those are going to stick down. I'm very impressed with this glue gun, actually. Oops, stuck some glue over the piston. Don't want to do that. Get off. Get off. Ooh. There we go. So that's all that stuck down. Next one is this one over this side, so we'll stick you on there. This one's going to need some more because it's not as tall as the rest. Stick some on there. Hold you down. And hope you stick. Like so. Ooh. This is going to need a sugar ton of glue. I was going to say a naughty word there. Changed it to sugar. Ooh. Just leave that there like that for two minutes. Anyway, I'm going to sort out wiring this all up and wait for this to dry. So instead of putting you through that ball ache, um, I mean boredom, um, I shall switch this off and I'll see you in two minutes.